Hello friends, this is game number 12 on the road to 2500. Today was a busy day, so actually I did not have time to do puzzles. I just played one quick game, which was a scotch game and went quickly to the end game and it became a long end game. Okay, let me show you the game. I started with e4, my opponent played e5, knight f3, knight c6. As you may remember, I tried different things in the last tournament I played over the board in the Olympiad Explo Classic. I played once bishop c4, the Italian game, and the other time bishop b5, the Spanish game. Now I said to change another country, let's go for north. <laughs> so go, went for the scotch game, played d4. d4. The advantage of the scotch game is immediate attacks black center and it opens up the position, plays actively. So capture, knight takes capture, knight f6, attacking the pawn, knight takes c6, b takes c6. It's with creating some weakness in the black pawn structure, e5, aggressive move, queen e7, pinning the pawn, this is a strong move, I need to defend with the queen, so both bishops are blocked, that's a very funny position, knight d5, now the knight needs to go because it's again attacked, knight d5, and here I played a really trendy line, h4, the idea of this move is sometimes to play bishop g5 in the future, or push this pawn forward, or, or play rook h3 with the idea of like rook e3, or in some lines even rook a3. So h4, g6. Unfortunately, I did not know too much the theory of this one, only this general idea. So here I, I realized he will play like bishop g7, attacking my pawn, so I just played knight d2 to be ready to defend it, but this is just too passive, so white should play much more active here in this line. You probably should play something like maybe bishop g5, queen c5, and then c4, going forward, knight d2, h6, bishop f6, takes, takes, casting long, this kind of way, need to go, go aggressive. Yeah, I can play like moving the knight away to protect, let's see, now rook e8 is a threat, so rook e1 is important, check, king b1, d5, look, very very special situation, his king is in the middle, <laughs> but his pieces are kind of active, very shaky position, and actually many times this goes to an end game after like a few more moves, say like this and queen e7 forcing the exchanges and after all the exchanges suddenly many times it, it becomes a draw or it's a very kind of equal position like this but of course there are so many ways to make mistakes so this is a good way to play if you want to play for a win because many possibilities for make mistakes for both for you and for the opponent so I play knight d2 it's a little passive move Bishop g7, so quickly develops, knight f3, defended, and here, yeah, please stop the video and if you think a little bit tactics, strategy, what would be the best move for black? So actually, if the best move for black is castling, be ready for quick rook e8, continue to attack with d6, this e5 pawn, and put pressure on white, and actually black is better in this one, white is just really behind in development. So I played a5 with this idea of maybe bishop a6. Played h5 as a fine move. Now d6, again a mistake because that gives off the, really the advantage. Again, he should play something like maybe castling to quickly develop. If let's say takes, take back. g5 check. Oh yeah, this is a very, very sharp line I analyzed. Takes, I cannot take back because queen takes c3 wins the rook. But a3, queen takes, and now queen moves now, counter attack, forcing the exchange of the knight goes back and castling, and this is around equal. <laughs> Actually, white sacrificed the pawn, but 
good chance to win it back, maybe on D5. And white has also quite active pieces. So after H5 take D6 instead of castling, and here I, again I played the mistake I captured, which looked kind of a. Yeah, I wanted just to solve the problem of D5 point with this attack three times. Should the best move? Let, let's please take a look and think about what's the best move here. Actually, best move is C4 should push back that strong knight. Yeah, actually partly because this, which is normally works, it's not working here. The spin, because I feel now can take here, actually can still work. I was thinking to win the knight, the knight can actually recapture. So, so this is still a fine position, I think, or close to an equal position. Yeah, it should be equal, I think. I ah, have yeah, but actually there is a better move here, a much better move, bishop g5. Yeah, so still really can use this idea somehow. <laughs> if it moves, then it's a, like, then it's, I think it's check. You are pushing back this bishop, this is just too strong. And then taking here. This is the, then we can take it because now it's both queens are attacked, so we win the piece. So yeah, that's why I need to play like c4. I need to play c4 and then yeah, but he should go like forward. Push back. Should g5 and you're casting long and actually I think white should be a little bit better here. Maybe taking on here or bishop eight six in the future. Very complicated position. But instead I wanted to play simple. And I captured here. Recaptured. And actually this was a mistake because it's now he had a chance to take my queen first, take back, eight six, takes, takes. And interestingly, now there is this big pressure on the position. Because compared, if, if I would, uh, see, yeah, so I should capture actually first the queen to force the king to go, and then I can give this check to force the blockade or, or gaining time for casting long. Or if he takes it back with the knight, then the knight is not anymore uh, that active like before, so I can play like something like c3. So I played. He did not find the right way, so he did not capture. Now finally I exchanged. Capture back. Yeah, rugby one, this looks also a little strange, but somehow I yeah, I was not confident enough to play c3 because I thought, okay, if you, what, what was my plan if he plays this? I wanted to play, be able to play like b3 after this if I, I play rook b1, but because rook b1, here comes this maneuver, d5 to stop knight c4 and then a4, and here comes a very weird maneuver, rook a3, rook b3 to now utilize this big pressure and then it, this is like an equal position. Yeah, I did not recognize this, so I played rook b1, play bishop f5, and now the bishop, capture, capture, knight capture, knight comes, bishop d2, yeah, I wanted to stop the knight from coming. Actually, if this move, this is a question, because I was thinking to take here, but actually this is a, this is a right, better move, because he cannot take, this is a nice trap, because, okay, one. And this pawn is pinned, cannot recapture. So yeah, actually can get two and then possibly we have to play the ace here soon. So he played a4, played d4 to block the bishop, king d7, king e2, going a little bit forward, c5. Yeah, I was thinking maybe maybe if he, he probably need to keep that pawn because it's it's kind of like a can be a target. 
to keep maybe some small edge for black because he has some pressure. It looks like white is just surviving and everything defended, but it's yeah, it's uncomfortable. But after the exchange, this helps, I think, white a little bit. At least now only there is one target, not two. King d3, king c6. g3, yeah, I wanted to stop these possibilities, so if I play something like bishop f3, he went out, bishop f6, h1, rook d7. Yeah, and here he decide, decided to force some exchanges. I cannot move the king well because the knight is so I capture, capture, capture. And here I thought, okay, the best thing is to put this pawn to the light square so the bishop cannot attack anymore. Yeah, and again, I think black has some pressure because of this nice king, but just everything protected. And actually, as it showed, like we played another 30 moves, but it's, it's not possible really to do anything here. G5, I, I just need to wait. And if he comes, then I will just make kind of like a pawn end game. I just always block the king. Attack the pawns. Yeah, he defended them. Yeah, I always tried, maybe it's just some idea to maybe attack, but... Okay, like now, important to block it, yeah, important block. Now, it's very, now it's very important now my pawn covers, so he cannot come in. And you know, the knight and the pawn actually goes pretty well together, so blocks the advance. Now my king is back to normal. Okay, now he tried to break, which, yeah, here I actually I've had a little more time in the in this end game, so I was thinking maybe some, there is some chance to win on time, or or he may make a mistake. But he started to have the same amount of time. Yeah, I could just take it. Actually, I think that would be also a draw. But I did not take it. I went back. Yeah, we are went all around, and I think this will be very soon. Uh, yeah, it was a repetition of three times, so this became a draw. So what's the point to, re what to remember? Yeah, so no better the end game. The, the openings, that's important, because I just got the worst position out of the opening. After g6, yeah, I did not know what to do again, g6. So probably bishop g5 is the way to go. Plus, yeah, again, activity, activity always, because always, like, he could take here, or I could take there to get some, or sometimes with c4 I could get an advantage. Like there was a moment when, yeah, here was a moment when I could get an advantage with c4, actually. Or so he, he should just castle quickly, not play this a6, a5, d6, d6 moves. Yeah, activity first. Okay, friends, thank you very much for watching and uh, hope to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.